Hello everyone, welcome to Building the Ultimate Matchbox Car Collection. My name is Tyrone. If you were in a flea market and you saw this Cuda, would you say, ooh, I've got to get me some Matchbox? I bet you wouldn't. Or maybe you would. I don't know. I certainly didn't. That's where I was, a flea market. And I was scouring this guy's table. Or tables, he had two of them. And uh, he says, what are you after, mate? That's how they say it in Australia. What are you after, mate? I said, oh, just looking for some matchbox. Never mind. And I was about to walk off, and he goes, oh, here you are. Here you are, mate. And I said, uh, no, I think you'll find they're not matchbox. And he flipped it over. Pow. Matchbox. Models of yesteryear in 143. Hmm. This is a 71 P Plymouth Cuda. 440, no less. Isn't that amazing? I tried looking for it in my catalogues and I gave up. Maybe it's in there. Maybe I don't have the right catalog. I've got lots of catalogues, but couldn't find it. Isn't that wonderful? It's such a vast catalog for a matchbox that you just never know what you're going to walk into. And the guy didn't have any other matchbox. He had lots of other things, but uh, I walked away happy with six. I'm about to show you them all now. Not all perfect condition, but this one is. This is the Boss Mustang. Hmm. If I can see that, oh, I'll get my handy little torch I prepared earlier. Let's see if we can see something on this matte black base. It's a 70 Boss 429. See, models of yesteryear. Very familiar tagline, isn't it? Lots of detail. I mean, it's 143, you'd expect a bit more than the 164s, but there's no opening parts on these. One is missing a mirror, but not this one. And she a beauty. They roll. It's uh, not something you'd put on the track, but uh, so cool. Uh, and when I investigated further, I realized I do have actually a Super King of this in red from about 91. Uh, this is the Pontiac GTO. GTO what? Where's the torch? Let's have a squiz. It's a 67 Pontiac GTO. Very hard to read, that matte black base. But we got there. Super cool tail lights. And they're also the indicator lights, aren't they? They flash red. What a beauty. Is this the one missing a mirror? No. This is pretty good. Got them so cheap too. So happy. Um, I think this is the dodgy one. Yeah, it is. Look at that. When I saw one mirror on this, I thought, ah, oh, that's the driver's side. But of course, that's me talking. Well, you all drive on the wrong side of the road over here. Or is it the right side? So I thought, yeah, driver's mirror, cool. A few uh, rust issues there. There's a thing called diecast rot, <laughs> and uh, I think it's infected this poor sucker. It's a road runner, um, and of course that's the driver's side there, and missing a mirror. No biggie. They were so cheap. Uh, 1970 Plymouth road runner. Does it have? No, that's all it has. Sometimes they have the engine size, don't they? Wonderful thing. Even with its imperfections, so happy to have it. And even, look at the air. Let's see if we can get a cop view as you've pulled over the trunk motorist. Hmm. So cool. Uh, next one is the Camaro. And being black, any tiny imperfections show up so badly on these, but it's not too bad. I'll give it a pass because it's black and uh, almost impossible to either paint, paint a tiny black car properly or uh, make sure the weather or humidity doesn't get to that black paint job. Mm, 68 Camaro SS39U. Is that a 6? Did I fail my eye test? <laughs> Again, you've got cool tail lights on this one. Um, 
when people used to bring these these over to Australia or New Zealand, they have to they had to change the red lamp to an amber one and get the sequencing different. So um, your indicators actually looked amber, but I'm not sure they worry about that anymore. I think they've relaxed a lot of things. My favourite one is this one, Chevy Chevelle. Wow, brilliant. I mean, this model has been done a gazillion times in all sorts of uh, scales and from different manufacturers, but it's so cool to have it as a matchbox in 143. They're so heavy too, all of them are. So nice. And um, what do we got here? Mm, you might be able to read that. I'm guessing it's 70 Chevelle. SS 454. That's my step in the dark. Funnily enough, you've got the lights in the bumper. They don't do that so much anymore, do they? A couple of holdings of the same era had um, lights in the bumper. It looks so peculiar these days when you see them at the show and shines. But loving it. Such a nice shape, isn't it? Brilliant. So there you go. Uh, the name of this Models of Yesteryear series was something like Muscle Cars uh, Series 1, I'm told. But uh, yeah, such a surprise. Lovely. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.